Yeah, g'day viewers. Thought I'd like to show you some interesting low pressure sodium lamps I've just recently scored. Now, these units are very old and not like anything I've ever come across before, so I'm using this one here as a comparison. This is a modern uh, Philips 90 watt unit that's used in your typical modern day street lighting has an internal arc tube with a metallic sodium in the little glass beads within the tube and then that's in an outer evacuated tube probably just for a bit of protection and prevent heat loss and stuff like that while it's running which enables the arc to get up to temperature however these other ones I've just recently scored they have a ceramic base with a detachable outer evacuated tube and the inner tube is the same sort of arc tube has some metallic sodium deposited within it we can have a bit of a look at it here and this other nice little one is also of the same construction this is also a Philips so this is a whole generation of Philips low pressure sodium lamps so this one, yes it's same construction, has the inner arc tube containing the sodium and it has a detachable outer envelope which is simply removed by just pulling back at this little spring loaded plunger and lifting the glass off which I shall have a go at. So it comes off very, going to be very gentle here. So we can have a look at this tube, the outer envelope. And it has a sealing uh, tip on top here. This other one comes apart the same way, basically has the inner tube that can be withdrawn from it. But I don't want to be pulling this one apart because there's a lot of asbestos inside here. I suppose they use it as an insulator or something like that. So yeah, I don't want to be releasing that asbestos around the place, so we'll leave that one intact, I think. Right, okay, we'll try out the, the newer tube first and see how that fires up. All right, we'll try the next one. taking a little bit for the arc to stabilize here we go nice bright neon ignition and then it'll 
as the sodium warms up it will change over to the nice uh, yellow sodium light you can see the cathodes all doing their bit here absolutely beautiful just wish this camera could pick it up a little bit better to zoom in A small one again. Oh, nice bit of plasma tornado going on in there. Looks marvellous. Yeah, it's got a bit of unstable arc structure in here, but it's just fascinating to watch. Absolutely beautiful. Flashing and carrying on. Okay, it's just gone out. 
tube could be just a bit old and unstable but anyway once it cools down it'll probably be able to restrike again so thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time and have a great day